Because of the way SwiftUI sends binding updates to property wrappers, property observers on property wrappers often won't work the way you expect, which is why code like this won't work correctly. As you can see, it shows the words hello world on the screen with a blur attached to it controlled by a blur amount property. That property is being changed by a slider using the binding right here. And the property has a did set property observer attached to it that should print out a message in Xcode's log area down here when the binding changes. However, if I press Command R, you'll see this code does not work correctly. Yes, the blur does change, which is great, but there's nothing printed down here in Xcode's debug log area. To fix this, we have to use the onChange modifier, which tells SwiftUI to run a function of our choosing whenever a particular value changes. And SwiftUI will automatically pass in both the old and new value to whatever function you attach. So we could use it like this. First, let's get rid of this whole observer and the blur amount, just zap it all. And then say, this slider has an on change attached to it. And we're gonna watch blur amount. And then our action's going to be, give me the old value, give me the new value. And we'll simply say, print new value is new value. And now that code will work correctly. As I drag the slider around, watch down here, I can just drag it around, it's printing out constantly all the values as it's happening while still blurring correctly on the screen. So blur, the blur amount is now being watched by on change. On change is watching that the entire time, but everything else has stayed the same, right? We still use at state private var to make the property. We still use blur radius blur amount as a modifier for our text view. It, is really, really easy to use. It doesn't change much code here. However, you can, if you want to attach this on change somewhere else. I prefer to attach it to the thing that's changing the value, the slider in this case, but you could say, actually, I wanna have my on change down here. Doesn't matter. If it's in the view hierarchy somewhere, it'll spot the change and refresh automatically. So what all this means is you can do whatever you want inside this on change function. You can call methods, you can run an algorithm to try and figure out how to apply the change, whatever else you might need. Now I should say there are two other variants of on change. One uh, lets you uh, receive no value at all. You're simply saying on change of some value like blur amount, run some code, print blur changed like that. You can do that, that's fine. Uh, that's times where you don't care what the value is, right? There's also another option here which only gives you the new value, like that. This is, it's telling you now, <laughs> deprecated as of iOS 17. What this means is, it's Apple's polite way of saying, please don't use this thing. We think it's not safe to use unless you have to support iOS 16 and earlier.